figure if I've done this, I may as well keep trying. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Well, there he is. Never mind. I'm probably about to die. Yep, that's what I get for my hubris. Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. Today we're playing Everbark, where we're going off into the Dandenong Rainforest, I think of Australia or New Zealand, uh, trying to find some missing hikers, a missing scientific research group. Melbourne experienced a 5.2 magnitude earthquake last night with reports of movement across the Yarra region as far northeast as the Dandenongs on Melbourne's fringe. Geoscientist Victoria reported that the epicenter of the quake was north of Quadrigal State Park. He said the quake depth was at 15 kilometres at 2 a.m. Locals online shared their thoughts about being roused from sleep, including Carlson local Liam Paver. Yeah, it was pretty dim, eh? Got like four new cracks in me windshield from falling branches outside. How am I gonna make it to Centrelink now? The missus is pretty strung up about breaking in Anne's ashes, though, too. The dogs are just going nuts, eh? They're them eating it off the carpet this morning. Residents in the surrounding regions reported light tremors. 909, this is headquarters. We need a ranger to reboot and investigate a distress call from the Elgin Archaeology team. Please respond over. Sure, Katie. This is Ranger Calder. What's the situation? Over. Copy that, Craig. We received telecommunications from them that a member of their group went missing at 2000 hours tonight due to a disturbance in their camp. There are five members of the group now unaccounted for as they went off to retrieve their fifth member. We need to report back with their whereabouts. Over. All right. Headed there now. We'll report back upon further investigation. Alright, that was the most Australian voice acting I think I've ever heard in a game ever. Alright, so these people went into the rainforest, they went missing. Um, what are the odds it's it's spiders? It's spiders or it's lizards or something big? That That's what it has to be because Australia is a cursed land of hell. Come in HQ, just arrived, heading to the dig site now. Okay, so this is us, Victoria Parks and Wilds. So yeah, we're doing this uh, job here as a ranger. I don't know why. I just remember, like, I saw this game on itch. It popped up as one of the newer, a little more popular releases, and I just decided to give it a shot because I really liked what I saw. Okay, that's an invisible wall. So I guess these are the two archaeologists. I guess I'll just say vehicles. And uh, I don't know why I'm saying that like a question. They are vehicles, boundless, you idiot. Uh, yeah. And now we gotta go try to track them down. Um, I swear to God, if this game has spiders, I'm gonna find the developer and I'm going to... I don't know, I'm going to throw all of their Vegemite away. Heckin' Aussies. Yeah, alright, first impressions. Game looks pretty good. It's, uh, it's a little... a little aggressive on the PSX shader. Oh, hey, this is the place, uh... This is the place that we had... The words are not coming to me. I swear I woke up a few hours ago. Um, this is the place that they had the main menu. Yeah. And uh, they actually had something kind of cool in the main menu. When you went between the three things there, play, settings, and exit, it actually uh, it would swap between three views. So I think one of the views was like this. One of the views was of the generator, and the other was like up a tree for some reason. I guess we're going to flap our wings really hard and leave. I mean, as funny as that would be. Okay. So, let's see. What, what's down this way first before I go up? I'm not sure. Well, that could be progression as well. Oh, look, and we got a nice coffee mug. Yeah, that's going to be safe to drink out of. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go look around. Oh, it's the camp. Okay. Yeah, let's look around inside the camp here. See what we can find. Anything inside of these? Any, uh... I mean, it's Australia, so they don't know what freedom is, but... Oh, oh, Jesus, what the heck? Oh, there's like a... a lean mechanic. Okay. Hmm. That's concerning. Why would there be a lean mechanic in the game? What the fudge? What is that? Is that like something with... like, flesh in it? Can't really tell what that's supposed to be because of how heavily pixelated it is. Whatever it is, they're using a fucking cleaver on it. And then... Olas? Ols? Olgs? Coles? I'm, I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. Oh, hello. 
All right, 24th of August. The camp is set up and team is on track and positive about the dig. Water and dried supplies will keep us working for eight to nine days. The first night jitters for the interns, but they should settle down by tomorrow. On the promising first day at the dig, we've uncovered some interesting Cretaceous small rock forms about two meters deep near the eastern cliff face. Food and water supplies are healthy. We're working in shifts to ensure that we're devoting as many hours as possible during the short exploratory expedition. Significant overnight discovery at around 2.30 a.m. What appears to be a petrified tree has been unearthed and we're in the process of clearing photography, recording, and measurements. Video recording of the find has also been logged. Discovery of petrified log formation has caused some consternation and concern following the team witnessing a red sap leaking from the fossil. The leakage seems fresh despite the fossil found encased in rock. Odd noises from nearby are emanating from the forest in what appears to be caves. This has only happened following the fossil find. Appears to be more wildlife activity since the discovery of the log fossil. The red sap still emits from the fossil, something none of the team has witnessed ever before. We continue digging throughout the night. However, our generator and lights have been stalling, requiring torches and lamps to continue working. Some of the team are showing signs of concern with the increase in wildlife activity and footprints. Okay, so they clearly dug up something they were not supposed to fudge with. Are we sure that's a tree? And not like some giant weird like a living monster okay digging has stalled following the disappearance of philip overnight we heard the wildlife noises again at around 2 a.m lights went out again and the sounds of a man's screams and calls no mobile reception so we're forming our own search could be a dingo pack living nearby however the animals we've seen have avoided the team okay so obviously philip is dead uh is something something took him boy that is that is a very dark what, what the heck? How, how does that make sense? How does that work when I get closer, the light just stops working? Okay, that's weird. Uh, but you know what? Again, it's an indie game. I imagine it's something to do with the weird filtering system here. I don't know why when I was walking up, like, my eyes were kind of looking down into the left. I thought this was just like a big weird owl. Yeah, weird. Okay, anyway. Let's go see. Uh, what could we possibly have found? So it's some sort of like a tree thing, right? Yeah, I think, did, what, what did we see in the pit over here? It was, oh yeah, yeah, there's roots and there's this giant spiky bit that I guess they must have cut off. Okay, I'm starting to wonder if, yeah, it's like a living rock or something. Maybe the sap is actually blood. Oh, that's good. Come in, HQ. This is Ranger Counter reporting. Over. Ranger 909, what's the situation? After investigating the camp, archaeologists still miss him. The campsite looks abandoned. Found some handwritten notes regarding the comings and goings of the team over the past week. Looks like they lost Philip and formed a search party to look for him nearby. Now are the signs of the team. Please advise. Copy that, Craig. Continue with the search. We're sending the units to your location now. Over. Roger that. Continuing search. Over. You know what? Good on Calder for calling this in. That's actually super smart to be like, oh, hey, yeah, guess what? I found stuff. Um, like vines and stuff up ahead. Yeah, I feel like it's always these horror games where they're like, oh, yeah, no, I, I didn't find anything. And all I found were notes written blood writing help me. Or, we're all doomed, and we just decided to go explore alone. You know what, I think this is another game that also proves my, uh, my lack of scientific theory. My scientific rigor. What the fudge? Why did that shatter like that? That's not good. Yeah, I feel like if I ever went out in the woods and I found a random rock and touched it, my hands came away covered in, like, human blood, I wouldn't be like, let's set up a research base. I would be like, nuke the forest. Because that forest is clearly evil. So, let's go see what's inside of here. Are those not vines? Oh, so help me god game, if you tell me that it's a giant spider, I'm going to slap you. And now we're in a nice- yeah, oh boy, we're in a cave. Oh god, oh Jesus. Okay, that's not good. Um... Oh, don't tell me the way behind me is completely collapsed. HQ, this is Agent Calder reporting. Cabin HQ. Oh, you whore. Oh goody, and yep, now we're in the cave of the EM spiders. Ugh. Oh no. Oh no. Katie, can you read me? 
I'm trapped inside the cave. Oh, it's fuck this. It looks blocked. HQ, come in, HQ. Damn it. I hate you, game. I hate you. I hate you. It is Scuttlers. Oh, no. Okay, search. I... Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Wait a minute. Am I just carrying a whole body? Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm just going to go hike out an entire human being through this cave. Okay, I'm definitely not going to be bringing an extra snack with me. Oh, I dislike this. Okay, so this is so... All right, so what's the story then? Is... Yeah, this is definitely like some kind of scuttling horror. I'm going to piss myself when I see it. What did I just hear? Did I... I swear I just heard, like, scuttling of limbs. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, I dislike that a whole lot. I dislike everything about this. Okay, uh, can I just go? I don't want to continue playing this. I... I really don't. God, I, I wish I had my... I wish I had, like, a flashlight that actually had some proper frickin' throw to it. Okay, uh, let's pick an arbitrary side. So, is this, like, the trunk of the big tree we've been seeing, then? I... I think it might be. Oh, no. This is awful, and I hate it. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, what what's hiding down here? See, this is the the problem I have is twofold. One, I think it's going to be scuttlers. Okay, I don't know what the hell I just saw in front of me, but fudge that. I I have no idea. I just saw like two pixels of something. I am not going near that. No way. Absolutely not. We're going the other way. Maybe that was complete nonsense. Maybe that wasn't something. I'm pretty sure I saw it moving, but. Okay, that looks like that's going to lead me back to where I just was. Uh, let's go down this way, maybe? Boy, this is surprisingly tense. I find myself getting more and more tense with horror games as time goes on. Okay, what is... I guess let's go straight first. Nope, let's not go straight. Let's... What the fudge? What are you? Okay, this is... Is that daylight? What the heck? Why does this look so weird? You escaped the Everbark. Oh wait, so that was just the exit? I only found two out of five people. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, was I... HQ, this is Ranger Calder. Copy. I've made it out of the cave. Please respond. Over. Status. Over. A tremor caused the cave entrance to collapse. I made it out alive, but there are still people trapped inside. Requesting urgent EMS unit to my location. Do advise. Over. Okay, so I guess that was Everbark. So we got we got two people. Okay. I want to go back in. I want to see if anything changes if I get all five. I want to say that's even possible, but yeah, okay, that was that was interesting. That was an interesting little game. I'm really surprised that it just let us go, right? Most of the time, these games don't do that. They're just like, oh, you want to leave? Well, screw you. Uh, yeah, let me go back in quick. Well, you're not going to believe this. Somehow, I have managed to soft lock myself. Oh, hi. Oh, so you're the creature. Okay. I was just standing there for like 20 seconds trying to jump out of there. Um, alright. You were found wound in sap. I guess we know what happens when you die. Uh, yeah, but I also walked up there. I just like randomly saw a creature. Let me, let me see if I can actually see that again. Okay, so I retry. How far? What the fudge? What the heck? Hold on. Okay, that was weird. I came out of the menu and the game was like, haha, you're... There, um, but no, let me go on back and see, because when I walked in there the first time, I noticed I saw a glimpse of, I guess, that thing's head? Like, before it scurried off, like the weird white face. 
Well, okay, that makes me feel a lot better. That's not a scuttling horror. But yeah, I, I can't believe that I somehow softlocked myself into that. So whatever that is, that's like a weird form of frog creature, I guess. Okay, so let's not go down by that little pole. Alright, so that thing kind of scurries and... I don't know, like, what, what was that thing even? Was that like some weird frog? Yeah, kind of kind of hard to tell what the heck it was. Also, I didn't really hear it approach at all. It just kind of suddenly, like, it just started its little scurrying. Like, you guys... Yeah, you guys heard that. Okay. I, I guess let's just do standard maze traversal tactics for now. And hope that we can find whatever. Boy, this is, it's really dark, too. Like, I, I think that is what I must have seen then. That must have been what I saw in the far end of the cave there. Oh, archaeologist found. Hey, buddy. Hey, I'm coming to help you. Um. What the fuck? Why, why did he just throw himself off of there? That's concerning. So, yeah, let's, uh. Keep on looking, I guess? I'm gonna give the developer a lot of credit, mostly for not having a big, stupid, in-your-face jump scare. Uh, like, don't get me wrong, it's kind of, you know, it does, like, obviously pop up and do the attack, but it's not, like, ear-splittingly loud. Which I, I really do appreciate from a player perspective. So, kudos to the developer for that. Okay. So it's kind of hard... You can kind of tell, like, which ones of these are human beings or not. Like, that I don't think is. Oh, okay, now we're back here. Okay, so if I go... So I guess I need to go back into there. And then I need to go... Oh, God, what the heck? Yeah, I guess I need to go back into there and go, like, around. Oh, fudge. I think I just... Yeah, you can kind of see it, like, hanging out down there. I don't know if you guys are even be able to see it. It's like one or two pixels moving around right down there. Oh, fudge. Okay. Can you... Oh, heck, you can go up here. Okay. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Uh, let me go this way. Um, I, I guess I'll try straight. Jesus. Okay, so it looks like... So it looks like there is kind of a way to dodge it. Looks like there's kind of a way to go around. Okay, okay, hang on. Here's number four. You know, I wonder what actually happens if we... I wonder what happens then if we go... What am I trying to say? I wonder what happens if we go into an area and then we... Oh god, oh god, he's right there. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Um, yeah, I wonder what happens then if we go into an area and like... He kills us. Do I have to gather all of these again? This thing is quick. Christ. Yeah, let's go look around and see. Can I get the... Okay, I don't seem... I did not seem to find the last guy. I'll have to go back around, because I think where that thing was coming from... Yeah, I think where that thing was coming from was the last way. Did I... God, it... This is where this pixelation filter is a bastard, too, because, like, I see little glimpses of areas where, like, the game map brightens, or the game screen brightens a bit, and then it's like, haha, we're gonna go through here, and it's like, no, no, we're not. Uh, let's see. What? Come on, you bastard. I need you to come back here so I can go down the route that you blocked. All right, managed to dodge it there. Actually got uh, grabbed by the creature when I was trying to leave. I'm not sure if this is the right way, but this is the only route that I haven't gone, I think. So if this doesn't have anything, I think I'm just going to try to push for... Hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I kept on getting murdered by this thing because it seems like it's really hard to detect. Um, but I, I've actually been around here a few times. I have not seen the last corpse, so I'm going to assume that it's just, like, somewhere I'm not noticing. 
Yeah. Um, it, it's not terrible. Uh, it's just I kind of don't really want to go through the whole process of replaying this, like, over and over and over again. It does seem like when we do respawn, though, the game does... It seems like when we respawn, the game does, like, keep our progress, though, which is nice. Oh, God, but I've also, like, I've put so much work into this, I also don't really want to just throw in the towel and not find the fifth body, right? Figure if I've done this, I may as well keep trying. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Well, there he is. Never mind. I'm probably about to die. Yep, that's what I get for my hubris. I've also noticed there's a few, um... There's a few places in the world map that it seems like the player really easily gets stuck. Like, climbing over things, basically. Oh, hello. Hey, look, there's the cutscene. Oh, but I somehow escaped the Everbark. <laughs> okay. Weird. Alright, let me, uh, let's cut this. Alright, so there we go. That was the Everbark. Um, I actually went back in one or two more times to try to find all the bodies. Uh, after that really funny little ending cutscene there. I couldn't find the fifth one, I'm sorry. I have no idea where it is, what it's missing. Uh, I did take a look. Apparently it doesn't change anything with the ending. The ending is always the same, so... Kind of feels like I wasted a little bit of time there. But yeah, that was Everbark. Not a bad game. Really, the two complaints I have. The biggest one is... It's the it's the PSX filter. I think PSX filter can look good, but this this is overdoing it, I feel. Um, I feel like, like, personally, I would get rid of it. I'd love to have a toggle. Uh, and then, I mean, the other one is really... It seems like you can't really escape the creature. Like, I did it once. But I think that might have been the AI bugging out. Uh, I don't think you can otherwise escape the creature if it aggros to you. And I feel like that kind of just makes this a little more frustrating. I'd love a way to escape it. Um, little nooks in the wall to hide in. Uh, areas it can't climb to. Stuff like that. Uh, yeah, overall though, this was really fun. I definitely enjoyed myself playing this. And yeah, I really hope that this developer keeps on making games. Good work. So, thank you guys very much for hanging out and watching Everbark. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know how you felt about this one, and I look forward to seeing you all in another video very soon.